2000. I was playing in an electronic band, and one cannot play an acoustic instrument in a loud electronic band. Uh, so I was looking for options. I went to Ham and Ashley uh, Violin Shop when it used to be in Des Moines near the airport. And in one of their showrooms in the back, there was this one beautiful Zeta electric cello. And I thought, I guess that's mine. So that's when I when I moved on to the electric. So I had been playing with, an, uh, with a pickup on my cello. Um, and so I'd already started experimenting with the looping, but that instrument, the Zeta, is, it's just really pretty. It's nice to play live with looping, partly because I know where all the sound is coming from, from one place, and um, also it's just kind of a spectacle, and people don't quite know what it is, which I think uh, takes down a barrier for some people, because they don't have to prejudge, oh, it's a cello. It's classical. I won't like it. People ask me all the time what my instrument is, and so I think it is kind of mysterious unless they specifically went to a concert to see me playing my cello. And I do record my albums with my acoustic cello, so I think that sound is already there. It does sound a little different on the, uh, with the electric coming through an amplifier. I don't get the same uh, vibration at all from the instrument, from the electric instrument. My yoga teacher very sweetly made me this little cushion that goes on <laughs> so that I can have the same physical reference for going into positions. And then I actually did a couple modifications on the electric cello, so um, I had the part of, that's kind of wings for the knees uh, cut in a bit by a metalsmith, so just fun little modifications that I can do on an electric instrument. For some of my music, the physical landscape, I think growing up here in the Seattle area has been, um, has been an important inspiration. I think it's partly a piece, P-E-A-C-E, -E, a piece from this landscape, from the clouds and the rain, from the trees. And a lot of my pieces have titles that reflect that, I think. As far as promotion and self-promotion, I have to give incredible gratitude to my daughter Willow's dad, because um, when I made my first album, we were, we were together, he was making websites for fun, and he made my first website for me. So I had a really nice website for, and have for a long time. And as I was finishing that first album, I had recorded, um, all that part was done. Um, this was in 2004. My brother died in a fire, so there's no preparation for that kind of loss. I basically just stopped doing everything. And John, my daughter's dad, he, he got my album out to radio stations. He did all this research and he, he wrote on letterhead as if he was my manager. <laughs> and he just sent this album to stations all over the country. And some stations picked it up. And so this music ended up taking on a life of its own, really without me doing anything and I had someone supporting me who was answering emails as if he were me, doing things that in my depth of grief, I was not capable of doing except just putting one foot in front of the other to 
carry on. That went on for a long time. And at a certain point, John said, Gretchen, your music has done really well without you doing anything. Can you imagine what would happen if you actually tried? <laughs> so <laughs> that was a good question. The dancers found my music and um, nope. I'm going to back up because I think that there's an inspiration for dance that's been in my music for a while. When I was at University of Washington, um, Michael Kava was the director of music for the Department of Dance, and I played a lot of his music and we not exactly collaborated but he bounced a lot of ideas off of me and I got to experience a lot of his music with dance and he was someone who music just poured out of him and so dancers did continue to find my music and um it's been, it's been both me reaching out to some dancers who I liked and wanted to work with and other dancers who um, have reached out to me. But it's, it's been fun to have some other energy with me. I mean, I love, I love being a soloist for many reasons with my music, but it's also nice to have some other energy sometimes on stage with me.